The only thing is that we're concerned about is that as much as possible, and you do always going to have human error, or people think that they can't get caught, that you be um, as diligent as you can to make to see that this is carried out. If this passes uh, today, we want our young people. And when I look at the two of you, you know, you're very young. You're, you're young people, right? Uh, starting a business, have a business that's doing very well, and we want you to continue to do that because you are the taxpayers as well here in our community. The other thing that I would talk to you about, and uh, with council. Um, hopefully agreeing with me, is that the people that you have on the door is that it's very important that they know how to deal with people. I think what happened was a very unfortunate situation. Uh, even though it was council, a council member or council members that was there, it should never be something that would happen to anyone coming, whether they're a council member, president of the United States, or just a person walking off of the street. Uh, because we do want people to be courteous. Now, I do know we do have people that are unruly, you know, not on council, I would hope, but uh, people that, that can get unruly, and you have to learn how to deal with that on your, in your own way. But I do think that what you have shown here today um, is showing that you want to do the right thing, and you're trying to do the right thing, particularly uh, as young people. I do like the idea of carting everyone. I was at a luncheon on yesterday, and um, Bill Hubbard from the chamber said he was carted. He said, I want you to know they carted me. I said, OK. So you know, we're all old. You know, and I think it's just a good example to set. It. And I think, but you must do it on a continuous basis, not just when we're here. And I do commend you on this little card. I thought it was cute because you leave no questions unanswered when you have something and people can say, I didn't know. This way they do know. I think that it's been abundantly clear um, that this is a very, very serious issue. But I think we also recognize it's also a, a changing environmental issue. Um, we're in a different culture that, that, that really puts a lot of emphasis on young people drinking and alcohol and videos and music and all these different types of things. Um, we know that young people are smarter, I think, than we were when we were growing up, and a lot more, they look older, um, they certainly act older, and they hang with older people, and there's a variety of peer pressure. Um, um, and I, I, as I explained to them, um, my feelings about this, because it is in my district, um, I feel some level of responsibility, because obviously, this, we have said from the very beginning that we are about protecting our young people. Uh, making sure that they are safe, and we know that alcohol in young people, it just does not work. Um, hopefully, you all recognize the seriousness of this issue, and certainly um, this council resolved one way or another. I'm going to offer um, a motion to help us to resolve this, at least in the short term, um, and, and we'll see where it falls. But um, I, was, I would move that we would approve um, their renew um, with a 120-day probation period for training for all of their staff and bartenders um, on a city-approved instructor. Michael, I think we've, we've used a couple in the past. Um, 30 days. And that they need to meet with you and your staff for recommendations, understand that they're, they've made recommendations of their own, but they have not consulted with us. Um, I, that, that we would give them some recommendations and give them 30 days to comply. Um, and then certainly recognize that, um, you know, this is almost, this is their last chance um, to be able to, to do this. And, and hopefully if you're carting everybody, that's just the nature of, of, of where we Mr. Where Johnson, do you expect me to restate that in No, ma'am, just, no. <laughs> okay. 120 days probation, training for all staff to meet with the city to, um, to get recommendations and comply within 30 days. Okay, may I have the motion? It has been properly moved and seconded. The only thing that I would like to add is, as a presiding officer is that we are dead serious. We are dead serious. If this no passes today, time. there will be no next time. Right. If this happens again, you will automatically lose your license. Oh, no, it, they would but be in time. To go before you have to go to the other procedures. So. That was suspension. But they, suspension. I, I think there was um, one other amendment to this. Approval. Are you moving for an amendment yeah. to the motion? Um, and I think and there needs to be, if there is another charge, a suspension of the license until the public, the, 
until <coughs> an administrative hearing, and at that point, um, show cause. Uh, the well, the, on the basis of Do a charge. You, wait, wait, let, yeah. hold on, on let me get the, the, hold on, Mr. Um, Mr. I got Mr. you. Mr. Hold on a minute. Alderman, are you saying that your amendment to the motion is that if there is another violation, that the license be suspended until uh, I would suggest that that would be out of order. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the, if I understand the, the Alderman Johnson's motion, it is to grant the license for a period of 120 days with the conditions that you are uh, talking about.